It's me. If you haven't already seen my other video on the power of the shift key and reason, then head over to my channel and check it out. It's linked below. I found yet another helpful use of the shift key and reason, and this time it's to do with automation. I want this snare build to high pass itself out going into the next section. You can see that this high pass is already set to 150 hertz, the level I used to mix this track in, but we want it to sweep higher as the drums get faster. I can alt click the frequency parameter, locate the automation track, and double click and drag to make a region. I can press enter on my keyboard to enter edit mode. Now if I hold shift while double clicking to make the first point, you'll see that the point snaps to that original 150 hertz. That same value is indicated as the static value here. I can then set the point at the end of the envelope, give it an exponential curve, and voila! It's a small feature that equals a huge gain in workflow efficiency. Another use for this feature is when you want to write automation a bit more efficiently. Say you want to add a high pass filter sweep on these vocal chops to thin them out into the next section. You could alt click the parameter, make a region, and draw a curve. The problem with this approach is that you end up hunting around to find the final value. It's much more efficient to find the final value first using the dial. You can then alt click, create your region, and hold shift as you make the end point of the curve. You can then draw the beginning point at zero since this is fading in. Set the static value to zero so that the parameter will default to that position when there is no automation. And there you have it. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more Reason, Ableton, and general music production tips. Thanks.